what we have covered so far is the data gives a strong evidence that the hypothesis is wrong if the data gives a strong evidence that the hypothesis is wrong then we can reject the hypothesis but when we have data that is similar to the hypothesis but not exactly same we fail to reject the hypothesis so this is hypothesis testing the rejecting versus failing to reject because it is unclear if the hypothesis should be based on the result either this or this right either this or this or probably any other value maybe looking closer at this i'm deliberately showing closer values because that is where the borderline comes and we use statistical test to really differentiate we later on we are going to say based on the p value and the p value i'm going to declare that as 0.05 if p value is low the null hypothesis go and if p value is high that is greater than 0.05 the null is the guy so you may remember that the only reason that the few hours is that it was the first result it could have been any one of this that we had spoken now since the goal is to see drug c is different from drug d we simply test to see if there is no difference later on we are going to call something like mu1 minus mu2 is equal to 0 or mu1 is equal to mu2 and alternate can be m1 not equal to m2 or mu1 not equal to mu2 